If you're anything like me, then you love DIYing using blanks. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I paired some Dollar Tree blanks with other crafting products in my stash and turned them into beautiful pieces of home decor. So without further ado, let's get into some of these DIY Dollar Tree blanks. Grabbing this cutting board sign that you can find from the Dollar Tree, or is it a cheese board, cutting board? Which one is it? I don't know the difference. I'm gonna take that, I'm going to cut off all of the twine that is on it, so the hanger, and then the twine that's wrapped around, but I'm going to save those beads to use them at the end. Now I'm going to flip this over onto its back and I'm going to paint it using my Waverly chalk paint in white. I wanted to add some faux shiplap lines to my piece so I just took a ruler and a pencil and I'm going to use that ruler as a guide to draw my lines. So I just line each end up with the ruler and then draw each of my lines. Now to make the lines look a little bit more blended, I'm gonna take my finger and just run over them. And it's gonna kind of blur out those lines, make them not look so harsh, and give a fun shiplap look. Next, I'm gonna add my chalk couture surface wax, because again, we're gonna pair this with a chalk couture transfer. So I'm just running that wax over the entire surface of my sign. Now for this one, I'm gonna be using the August Club Couture, which is very exciting because they are now adding a cutout with your Club Couture membership, which I think is very, very exciting. So for this August one, you have this really pretty country fair pumpkin type transfer along with the coordinating pumpkin. So I'm gonna lay my transfer down. I'm not gonna use all the aspects of the transfer, just the words and the pumpkin. I'm gonna go over the country fair with my velvet black chalk paste. And then I will lift that up and recenter the bottom and do the exact same thing just with the words. I'm just chalking on the words from the bottom. I'm not doing any of the lines or the flags. And then I'm going to take that pumpkin cutout that comes with your Club Couture transfer and I'm going to paint it using my Chalkology paste in rust. So the nice thing is about these Chalk Couture paste, you can double them as regular paint. You can also water them down so they're not as thick and paint them that way as well. So I paint the front and the back and all the sides. You don't need to paint the back. Uh, I don't know why I did, but I was having too much fun painting apparently. <laughs> so I painted everything and then you are going to wax it using your Chalk Couture surface wax. Now I do it on this one so that your transfer doesn't pull up any of the paint that you just laid down. So this is going to protect that paint. And then I'll go over the transfer on top of your cut out with the Chalkology paste in bark and you're going to have a really cute orange pumpkin that looks a little dirty which I think is fun adds some character and you see all of the pumpkin details then I'll just glue it to my board right in the middle and you have this really cute country fair sign I just love it I'm gonna finish it off by adding some twine around the top and then re-adding those beads from the original sign and that's all you got to do for this one so if you want to make sure that you get this club couture transfer and cut out make sure that you're signed up for club couture in August so that you can get this one. I'll have it linked down below, but Club Couture is a really fun way of trying Chalk Couture if you've never tried it. It comes with the transfer, the cutout starting in August, and some paste packets. All you need to buy separately is a squeegee and you're good to go. So trying it out without having to purchase a ton of stuff, it's only $20 a month and you get your transfer and cut out like i said starting in august so if you love this august transfer make sure you sign up for club couture to get it in august
We are going to start by taking this sign from the Dollar Tree as well as the brand new 2024 calendars that they have out. This is the Farm Life one that has this really pretty print inside that says it's fall y'all and I just love the theme of it. So I wanted to turn this into a sign. What I'm going to do is start by removing the frame off of this Dollar Tree sign. I just took a flathead screwdriver and kind of pried it off that way and then removed the frame and the beads from the backing. Now I'm going to take the backing and I'm going to place some Mod Podge over the entire back. I didn't do too thick of layers, just kind of spread it out as evenly as I could over the entire thing. And then you are going to let that completely dry. We are going to do the iron on method using our Mod Podge and our Cricut Mini heat press to get this picture to stick. I'm not a huge fan of working with Mod Podge when it's wet, so this is the best method for me. You're gonna take some parchment paper and like I said, your Cricut Mini heat press, or if you just have a regular household iron, you can also do this project as well. And then I'm gonna go over the entire picture using the parchment paper. And I only had this tiny sliver left. So if you have a bigger piece, great, but even if you just have a small piece of parchment paper, you can still make this work. So what this is doing is reactivating that Mod Podge and allowing the picture to stick to your backing. Next, I'm gonna take some super glue, wood glue from the Dollar Tree, apply my frame back to it. And then for a little extra added security, I am going to place some staples through it as well. Now the staples did pop through just a little bit on my frame and I wanted to kind of cover it up a little bit. So I took some white chalk paint and kind of did a dry brushing method over the frame, make it look a little bit more weathered and distressed. And I think it still turned out really adorable. So this is how my DIY turned out. I love it. Another thing I was thinking about adding would be some wood leaves or wood pumpkins to kind of give it more of a 3D effect. I might still go back and add those later. But for now, here is the finished piece. And it only costs $2.50 to make. I grabbed this $3 sign that you can pick up from Dollar Tree online, or if you have the plus section near you, you can grab it from there as well. But I don't have a plus section, so I just snagged these online and shipped them to my house. I'm gonna paint it using my Chalkology paste in Eucalyptus. I watered it down quite a bit, and I'm going to roughly paint the back of this sign. I'm going to use the back as the front for this one, so I didn't care if it covered up the entire thing. I had a lot of that natural wood showing through. I wanted this piece to look a little bit more worn and not as perfect as a normal sign would look. I'm going to grab our Highland Cow cutout that coordinates with the Highland Cow transfer from Chocotour. Again, you can find those on my website. And I'm going to mix some bark with some water and I'm going to paint the cow with this darker brown. I like that it has these kind of warm undertones to it that you don't quite get when it's not watered down. So watering it down brought out some warm red tones in it, which I thought was really fun. So I just painted my cow with one coat of that. And then for the headband, I'm gonna use my Chocotour paste in rust. And I just painted that straight on there. I didn't worry about it being watered down. I just took a little bit of that and painted the entire headband. Again, because this is wood, I am going to use my surface wax to protect my transfer from bleeding and have everything look a bit nicer. So I just take a paper towel and rub that surface wax all over my surface on both my cow and on the headband. So here is what the transfer looks like. You get this really pretty Highland cow and then two options for the headband. I decided to go with the leopard print for the headband. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chalk on my cow. For the bell, I'm using my Chalkator paste in saffron and I just use a little tiny little detail squeegee tool to get that bell pasted on there without 
making a big mess. And then for the rest of the Highland Cow, I'm going to be using my paste in Camel. So I'll just paste on top of him everywhere. And then as it gets closer to the bell, I'll take a smaller squeegee and squeegee around it. So I'm not getting that paste on top of the yellow that we already put down. So you'll just chalk on top of all of him until it's all covered. You'll pull that up and reveal a super cute Highland cow. If you know me, I love Highland cows. So when this transfer came out, I knew I had to use it and I'm going to be using it in so many different ways. I might even make a shirt with it. I think that would be really cute. So I don't know. I just love Highland cows. They're my favorite. Next, I'll add my headband transfer on top of my headband cutout. I just used the Chalkology paste in velvet and gave it more of a fall finish with the orange and the black. I glued that on top of my cow, kind of put it off to the left a little bit. And then for my sign, I wanted to add some shiplap lines to it. So I just went over it again with my pencil and using a ruler as a guide. You still can't see the lines super well on this. They're a little bit more faded since it's not you know, a stark white as the background. But then I did add some little nail marks using a paint pen on the sides. I'm going to go in with the framed autumn vibes transfer from Targator, specifically the hello fall one. And I'm just going to be using the words hello fall. So I stuck this down on the bottom, centered it as best as I could. And then with my bright white chalk paste, I pasted over that and then glued my cow head to my sign. And that's all you gotta do for this one. This would also look really cute with a bow somewhere on here. I wasn't quite sure. So some of these I'm like, I may go back and change it up a little bit. But for now, I think this is really cute. I love the Highland cow so much. I love the autumn vibes it gives to it. But this one was really fun to make as well. If you guys are new here to my channel, my name is Liz. And like I mentioned in this video, I sell wood DIY kits. If you wanna check those out, I will have them linked in my description box. You can shop blanks to pair with your Chocotour transfers, or you can even sign up for our monthly subscription where you get a kit every single month. You have three options to choose from so you can get exactly what you want out of a monthly craft kit. Now let's go ahead and jump into our next DIY. Taking a Dollar Tree wood cutout house, I'm gonna start by painting this entire thing with some Waverly chalk paint in white, the front, the back, and the sides. I'm gonna pair this with a Chocotour transfer. So again, I'm using my surface wax to create a barrier to help with bleeding. This is just my personal preference. You don't have to use it but I find more success when I do use it when I'm using my transfers. I'm gonna be using the Autumn Gourds and Thankful Life transfer from Chocotour, and I'm gonna be using the pumpkin and gourd sides of this transfer. I'm gonna lay this right down on top of my house, and then using the Chocology paste in Rust, I'm gonna go over the entire thing. Now, I don't know if Rust is still available on Chocotour's website. I think that it may have been a seasonal paste but it's one of my favorites. It's this really pretty dark orange, but they also just came out with another pumpkin color for this season, which also would be really pretty doing this DIY as well. So I'm going to lift that up. I go and wash my transfer and while the transfer is drying, I have these pumpkin and gourd cutouts that pair with the gourd and pumpkin transfers that you just saw. So these are ones that we cut out. Again, you can get these off of our website to pair with your Chocotour transfer. And I'm gonna start by just painting them with a brown chalk paint. This is Truffle from Waverly. And I give all three of these pumpkins and gourds one good coat. I'm also going to rub a little surface wax on there because it's wood and porous and I don't want to have any bleeding happen when I chalk over them. Now I'm gonna match my pumpkins and gourds with the coordinating pieces on the transfer. I'm gonna flip that over and then I'm going to go over it with 
three different colors. I'm going to be using the rust color, the eucalyptus, and the saffron. And the eucalyptus and the saffron should still be available on Chakrator's website. Now that I have my three pumpkins and gourds ready, I'm just going to add some glue to the back and place these over top of the coordinating pumpkins and gourds. I wanted that 3D effect with a couple different pops of color and I think this turned out so cute. It's so simple yet adorable and will look perfect with all of my other autumn decor. I grabbed this blank from the Dollar Tree. They've been coming out with a lot of blanks like this lately and I think they're so much fun. I'm also going to pair that with my Hey Pumpkin Transfer from Chocotour as well as the cutout that I've made to go with it. You can find the cutout on my website or you can join my VIP page over on Facebook and you can buy the bundle of the transfer and the cutout together or you can just go to my website and Chakator's website separately if you want to purchase those items separately. In the end, they are available for you to purchase if you would like to buy them. So what I'm doing is I mixed a bit of my Chakator paste in rust with some water to make a thinner paint consistency. And I am painting that pumpkin backing cutout that I made. I'm going to paint that, let it dry, and then I'm going to cover the entire thing with some surface wax from Chakator so that I can add my transfer on top without having any bleeding. I'm also going to add a little bit of that wax onto my Dollar Tree blank because I'm going to be chalking on top of there as well. So I'm going to add my transfer to my blank and I'm just going to chalk that hay portion of the transfer just using that squeegee and some white chalk paste. I'll lift that up and then recenter it onto my pumpkin cutout, get that where I want it. And then again, using the Chuckology paste in bright white, I'm just going to go over that entire piece. Lastly, I'll take my wood glue super glue and glue this to my sign and that's it. A super cute and simple sign using a Dollar Tree blank as the backing. I think this is super cute and it's going to look cute for fall and for Halloween. That's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which project was your favorite in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.